Fraud is the most common crime in England and Wales, and it accounts for about 40% of all offences. Yet it's only receiving about 1% of police resources for investigation and prosecution. And that's one of the reasons why the Home Affairs Select Committee has decided to have an inquiry into fraud. My name is Diana Johnson. I'm the chair of the Home Affairs Select Committee. And today I'm joined by my colleague, Simon Fell, who's also a committee member. Simon, I know that you have a great deal of experience and a background in investigating fraud. Yeah, so before I became an MP, I spent a decade uh, there or thereabouts working in fraud and financial crime. It's a fascinating environment to work in. What we can do to turn the screws to, to better go after some of those fraudsters and also protect the victims of fraud as well. Why do you think it's important for the Home Affairs Select Committee to look at fraud? It is by far and away the single biggest crime in the UK but yet our response to it is woeful. If you're a victim of fraud, you very often won't even get a response or an acknowledgement that you've been a victim. And the people who are doing it are getting away with it. So if there's one thing that we can do to try and strengthen the government's hand, to try and show them that this matters, I think that is exactly what this committee should be focused on. So Simon, could you say something about the impact that fraud has on victims? One of the, the most, I think, scarring stories I heard during my time working in, in fraud was of a little old lady up in Durham. Her only contact with the world was through her landline phone. She was phoned by a fraudster who coerced her into emptying her bank accounts. And suddenly she didn't trust the phone anymore. So her one contact with the world was gone. And you can imagine the impact of that, not just the financial loss, but the actual impact on her and her mental health, her ability to communicate with the rest of the world. And, and that's why this crime can be so, so damaging to people. And do you think there's a shame around being the victim of fraud and that people therefore don't report it, don't seek help and assistance? Yeah, 100%. And, and some of the, the most prolific scams prey on exactly that, the shame that people feel that they've fallen victim to, to a scam. And it helps them get away with it and it helps them do it again and again and again. Right. Well, I, I think that set out really clearly why the Home Affairs Select Committee is having this inquiry and we hope that you'll be able to follow us when we have our oral hearings later this year. <laughs>